Today, we are exploring an abandoned funeral home that has been closed since the 1980s, with a hearse left behind and many, many caskets. The owners of this funeral home had several of them in the surrounding towns, but this one and another were left behind and abandoned when they built newer homes in the areas. This place is riddled with many obituaries, caskets, and many other things left behind. Stay tuned and see what we find. What's up everybody, it's Big Banks and we're back again for another video and today we are at an abandoned funeral home. This one has been on my list for a while. There is a hearse still sitting right here which is actually quite amazing and there's quite a bit of caskets left behind. All the history's in the beginning like you guys know and we're gonna walk through this whole place and see what is left behind here. Guys, I love abandoned funeral homes, haven't done a whole bunch but I have a few on my list coming up soon. So yeah, we're here with Abandoned Dallas today and yeah, we're doing this whole little trip down south and it's gonna be fun. So starting here and we're in the garage, one of the garages, there's two, two or three garages here and then the whole funeral home itself. So right now we're in here, the hearse is right here. So I'm going to start showing you everything, but if you're new, hit that subscribe button, leave a like already and let's get right into the video. Okay guys. So here is the hearse. It's a, uh, old Cadillac, I think. And it is just like decayed and just sitting here rotting away. And there is actually a casket here. You can see under all this, all this uh, rubble right here, there's a casket laying right there. And this actually collapsed um, not too long ago, just like maybe a year ago. But then there's a funeral home right back there. And then we have another big garage over there that we first went into. Looks like the casket's falling out. There's like green moss growing on this thing too. Yeah, it's pretty crazy looking. Pretty crazy looking, guys. Got spiders. It's so weird. There's like a weird uh, material on the outside, like a like a fur looking material. It's just kind of. But. Cool seeing old cars like this, you know. And it's just sitting in this garage. And then we got just you know random wood panels and things like that. But yeah, we wanted to just start you off right here at this thing. I do believe this is going to be the second funeral home for this channel, and. I think we're gonna be exploring like three or four more this trip. I think, if they're any good, obviously. But yeah, yeah, we're just starting in here. And I already really, I really, really enjoy this one. But I can't wait to show you guys the caskets that are left behind. There's like a ton. But uh, I've never actually seen inside this funeral home. I've seen a lot of pictures of this and I've seen a lot of pictures of the caskets, but never really inside the funeral home. So we're gonna see what's in there. So let's continue this explore and yeah. The rest of this thing comes down on me. Yeah, this is really sad. This fell like this. Well, at least it didn't hit the hearse. It like missed it by. Like... It literally just missed the hearse. That's what's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, let's walk out of this garage. Looks like some Christmas decorations and stuff still in here. But I'm seeing when we walk outside, here's a casket laying right here. It's actually got. Oh, it actually got crushed by a tree too. Look at all the bugs here. You could try, and they're nasty. Oh no, it's, it's like a. It's probably rusted. There's a crap ton of bugs. Wow. You see, that's the garage. See how collapsed it is. It's 
collapsible. Okay, but see, we went in the bottom part of this one, and then we had the funeral home right here, but we're gonna go in this garage first. Actually, see what's in there. There's a whole suit in here. Whoa. <laughs> that freaked me out. Like, what the heck, dude? There's a dead body in here. That's actually wild, man. What the heck? This place is huge. Just watch your step because I don't want to end up in the first floor. Yeah, I think we're fine up here. Yeah. Um, there's a whole bunch of caskets over there. Like a ton. So let's go. Yeah, let's go check those Look out. Look at that. What? What is this thing? Ah, uh, this is the transporter, isn't it? I want to just say that's. I would want to say that's just uh, mold. Oh, oh yeah. I'm hoping. I don't know. Mold uh, doesn't look orange like that. I'm hoping it's not body fluids, but it could be. You never know. Yeah, look at these caskets. Wow, man. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like twelve, th like thirteen caskets in here. That one's like gold. This is, this is actually in decent condition. I think somebody just recently opened it up. I think so. Because there's not. Yeah, it's like brand new. You know these go for thousands upon thousands of dollars. Tons of money, man. Tons of money. I wonder if this is any comfortable to lay in. <laughs> Why are you Should I try it? <laughs> I mean, go for it. Shut. Sure. Guys, should I try to lay in this casket right now? All right, I'm, I'm going to. Here, hold my camera. It's, it's not your size. This is not my size casket, guys, but we're gonna lay in it. <laughs> oh man, oh, that's like dirty. You're wild. Oh, dude, that's not even like a, that's not even like an actual mattress type thing. It's like just springs. I'm just laying in a casket right now. Oh, dude, what the? Oh, bro, what if the whole thing went, the whole casket in you? See, dude, I can't, this is me at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find a long enough This is me at my funeral you. with my legs just sticking out of the <laughs> casket. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's... I have laid in a casket before I'm actually dead. <laughs> it's just the literally springs. just, it's just springs. And like a sheet. That's all it is. They, they rip you off on this because they charge you thousands and thousands of dollars. But then again, why is the dead have to be comfortable? They're already dead. Exactly, you know? But some of these caskets look really nice. I mean, this one is gold. I mean, they look expensive. Yeah, they do. You can still use a lot of these, honestly. They need to just clean them up, they'd be alright. polish them. You know, there's even uh, gravestones in here. Grave? Yeah, there's a gravestone. Stephen. Stephen Jerome never got his grave. Stephen Baker, yeah. August 13, 1960. Just in this garage. And then downstairs, it's just like cluttered with all this stuff. You can't really even walk downstairs. We'll be going into the actual funeral home and oh wow Wall it's a uh, it's a bit it's a bit uh <laughs> it's a bit messy in here i would say man it would have been nice i think So this is this would have been like probably the chapel, I would think, because there's a piano right there and there's a little stage. And I'm assuming there would have been like a bunch of seats set up in here. Somebody made a Ouija board. If you walk up here, be careful right here. Oh, it's squishy over there. Very squishy. So yeah, this would have been like the chapel room of it, where they actually held the services and stuff. So all the chairs would have been here. We would have the casket sitting up there, somebody playing piano, somebody talking. Interesting indeed. Interesting. Interesting. Not much though. Let's see what's down here. This place is actually quite large. Yeah. Yeah, it goes down here too. This is stairs, staircase, this paint, this like wallpaper is peeling off the walls right here. And it's like this, uh, this is very like, it's like a fabric type of wallpaper. Yeah, 
got the stairs that go up. We have a little storage closet right here. A lot of papers everywhere. Quite a lot. I'm wondering where the embalming room might have been for this place. I'm assuming this was an office of some sort. There's a table, phone, some chairs. There's a little, not a desk, but it's like a little counter. But there's quite a bit left here, and there's old, um, old like obituaries and things like that. So the celebration of the life of Jesse Lee Dixon from 1935 to 1985. Wow. All, a lot of these are laying everywhere in different people. This was definitely an office. All these like, these chairs in here, like these quilted old, like pretty fancy chairs. We got the desk, we got another little thing of these, little, another little fancy chair sitting here. And then like a little room over here. This floor is very bad, guys. You know safety first is always a priority when exploring. Because we can get really hurt doing this stuff. Dead live here. Well, that is that is true. You're not wrong. Ah, oh, man. Here's where they would have stored bodies, I think. It's all collapsed over here, though, so be careful. But... I think that's the freezer where they stored the bodies back there. But I'm wondering, like, where would the embalming room be, you know? It'd probably be lower if there's a way. You think it'd be lower? Yeah. It could have been over here somewhere. Or it could have been in here. This room is, like, attached to some sort of drive. I think the embalming room might have been in, in this room. Or something. I'm, I'm just I'm just thinking maybe, I don't know. Because if you see this, this is where I think they would have transported the bodies. They would have drove well actually there's no way to drive through here, is there? Or there might have been? Yeah, I think there might have been a way to drive through here. But they boarded it up right there. I think you're right. And then we got caskets laying down here that are all rusted and things like that. But this uh this might not have been the embalming room. I feel like the embalming room is going to be more, it's going to look a little bit different than this. The strange thing is this appeared to be like a one story from the outside, but it's actually two stories. Yeah. I'm scared of this floor a little bit, you know? It's a bit sus. I don't know what this room would have been. There's no like signs on the doors either to tell. If we do go upstairs, this is the way right here. <laughs> this one's not the way. Oh yeah, no, definitely not. Wow. <laughs> this floor is so spongy. Yeah, there's the front door. There's so many openings to this place. I wouldn't be surprised if there were like any squatters in this this funeral home. I guess the last thing to do is go upstairs. Yeah. That's all that's left. Let's check it out. I'll go first. I'll go. <laughs> Alright, lead the way my my friend. It's, it's crazy to see though, like all yeah. these Yeah man, there's tons of like there's different people. Yeah, they're all different. Here's another one. Miss Willie Mae Johnston. It's veterans right here. Nineteen eighty three. Just from nineteen eighty eight. Wonder what the oldest one here is. This was uh nineteen eighty two. Most of these are from the eighties, so maybe this place shut down in the eighties. So most of these are from the 80s. Is this from the hearse? Alright, let's go up. Let's see what's up there. Careful. I'm on a staircase. Alright, let's go. Watch for that still. Shit. 
A lot of them. A decent amount. Oh lordy. Got like a closet full of linens. There's stuff everywhere as beds. So they would have had home like actual. Well this people. is where they would have lived. Oh, wow. That's kinda weird. Yeah, normally in funeral homes I think the people that own it live upstairs. It's creepy. There's couches in the middle of the floor here. We got a bedroom. Just loaded full of stuff. Some beds and stuff in there. The desk in here. Most of the stuff is from the 80s, so. The bathroom situation, like you guys know, I'm the bathroom guy. Pretty bad. Yeah, it's all broken. They yeah. had a nice portion of the sink, but it's still here. I mean, that's they're pretty tough. Nice mint green. And over to my right here, uh, this is a dining room. Yeah, this is the dining room. We've even got there's even old food still in the pantry over there. That's gross. It's all like molded out and stuff. Old computer, right there. Wow, man, this place is just falling apart. And it's just loaded with junk up here. There's another dining room table. This side. And I'm assuming this is probably a living room over here. It's really dangerous though, like there's so much stuff, like you can't even see the floor, so you don't even know if the floor's any good. That's what's scary about it. It's had a lot of rooms, huh? But there's couches and things like that, yeah. So, so, we're gonna do something we don't normally do. <laughs> but the embalming room is over there. So I'm gonna walk on this little plank right here. Ah, okay, we made it. Biohazards. Bro, that's a baby casket. Yeah. Pre-injection something. Yeah, so this was the embalming room. Wow, okay. Dude, that casket. Dude, it's made of, like, velvet. That's, that's the same material that was in the back of the hearse. Remember what I said? It's yeah. Like fur? It's like furry. What the freak? But it's like a baby's casket. That's sad. Alright, do the honors. And then open it as it. Obviously, the liquids and stuff for the embalming. Yeah. Empty jugs. Here's a surgical mask. You want me to open this? Yeah, bro, go for it. Open it. The fire might. Oh, you're not opening it from the correct side. You gotta do it from there or the lip. The lip? Well, I mean, there's this, these little knobs that pull up. Here, you pull with that one. I think there's a baby in there, dude. I would put her next to it. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would, too. <laughs> we'll be done. <laughs> we'll be done, bud. I think there's some holes That's here. crazy, though. That's like... There, there's a... Put it back. I found a makeup cabinet to where they make them, where, where they paint them up to get ready. The makeup? Okay. Look, here's some graffiti from 2012. Oh yeah, I think that. So this is basically what they would use to uh, put makeup on. Man, I wish the table was still here. I mean, look at this stuff. Pre-injection, co-injection, biohazards. Cleaner. Well, I guess that's how they address you up, or you know, 
And then this is what I'm assuming to be like the suits and stuff they would throw on you. I would say so. I would say so, yeah. There's a lot of clothes like laying under this debris. Yeah, there is. Surgical mask too. See, there's a nice pair of slacks right there. Yeah, and there's like a coat or something laying right there. There's hairspray right there. I just wonder where the table would have sat at, you know? I just smack dab in the middle under Actually, this light. I think it was right here. Cause there's, yeah, see? There, there's where the hole is right there. So the bed was actually laying right there. And then we have this, but I wonder what these tubes were for. There probably would have been two in here. Something, I don't know. But yeah, this is the makeup for the people they would, you know, get ready for the funerals and stuff. Lipsticks and all that stuff in here. Alright guys, well that is the end of today's video. We just explored this entire funeral home and safe to say it's a bit um, dangerous in here, but there's quite a bit left behind, which is a bit surprising. And the caskets and the hearse definitely made this place uh, enjoyable. So, especially this little casket right here is a bit um, strange. I've never seen one that's like all furry like that. Have you? No. No. Never. Yeah. So it's just like super weird. But yeah, this place was actually pretty cool. Um, like I said, I've known about it for a while, but finally just coming to it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Follow my guy Ben in Dallas right here, and we're gonna get out of this place and uh, get back to safety. <laughs> Yeah, good. <laughs> so, yeah, till next time, Big Bang's out.